What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Real quick, just want to let you know the biggest sale of the year is happening at the timetellershop.com November 29th, that's Black Friday at midnight Pacific Standard Time. You do not want to miss out. The prices will never be any better than this until next Black Friday. So don't miss out. Use this coupon code screenshot it okay if you go to the website right now you won't see anything because i'm trying to give everyone a fair shake okay when the clock strikes 12 november 29th black friday everything goes live guys the watches you see there are ridiculous serviced with a one-year warranty and the prices are even more ridiculous okay so when you when you go there and you see those prices don't worry you use this coupon code and the prices somehow get even lower. So please don't miss out. Please don't write to me that I didn't give you enough heads up. Use that coupon code MIDNIGHT Pacific Standard Time Black Friday. That is November 29th. What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. So guys, by the time you're seeing this episode, the holidays are pretty much in full swing. And let's face it, they start earlier and earlier and earlier every season. It's like before Halloween, people are stopping me and being like, hey, Happy New Year. And I'm like, <laughs> Slow down, okay? There's a sequence of events. There's Halloween, there's Thanksgiving, there's Hanukkah confusing people just floating around, there's Christmas, and then there's New Year's, okay? So just slow it down, let things happen naturally, just go with the flow. I don't blame anyone for not knowing exactly when Hanukkah is at any given time because I rarely know when Hanukkah starts, and I'm Jewish, and I celebrate Hanukkah. I know when Hanukkah's starting when my mom's calling me and she's like, hey honey, you got candles for your menorah? Yeah, everything's set up, hey, you Gotta be careful, you don't you don't wanna start a fire. You remember that one year? You don't wanna start a fire. And I'm like, Mom, chill. It's the festival of lights, baby. But all jokes aside, whatever you're celebrating this season, you're gonna be doing some holiday shopping, and uh, I'm getting some interesting questions, okay? Uh, a lot of my viewers and a lot of family members of my viewers are writing to me being like, hey, time teller, uh, I wanna get something for the watch enthusiast in my life that's not a watch, okay? Be I get it, all right? People wanna buy something, but they don't wanna buy a watch that God forbid they already have or they don't like, and then there's that awkward process of being like, thanks, <laughs> I'm never gonna wear this, and now I need to awkwardly find a way to return it without offending this person, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I've made a list of stocking stuffers for the watch enthusiast 2019 edition. It's 12.45 p.m. Let's get down to business. That's right, stocking stuffers. Now guys, I suppose you could fit this in a stocking, you could put them in a chimney. I, what do you guys do? I don't know, but uh, these are things that are kind of uh, orology peripherals, right? They're not the watches themselves. Uh, they're, thing, they're accessories, if you will. Um, and all the things that I talk about today can be found in links in the description below. Full disclosure, the Amazon links will be for my Amazon affiliate store. So when you shop using those links, you help the channel out a bunch and we thank you for it. First up, the first stocking stuffer and obvious pick, a simple watch repair kit. Now guys, you're not gonna be really fixing watches with these kits, but the deeper you get into the hobby, the more the watch collector will use it. You're gonna find yourself changing straps, resizing bracelets, even cleaning the crystal, uh, maybe taking the case back off, seeing how the movement works, uh, you know, poking around, doing things. These come in handy. I cannot tell you how often I use my little spring bar uh, kit I was gonna say spring bar tool. Um, you know, you can buy the tools themselves. You can buy a little kit. Either way, very easy to find. There's a bunch to, to, to choose from. Excuse me, I'll show you a picture here. Yeah, just a whole bunch and again, um it is, it's something you'll use probably once a week, especially if you're deep into the hobby like me and you're just addicted to playing with your watches. It happens. Next up, kind of in the same vein, a spring bar kit. Okay, not to be confused with a spring bar tool or a watch repair kit or a watch tool kit. This is literally a kit filled with a bunch of different sized spring bars because all you got to do is change a strap once to know that a spring bar is a lethal projectile. Okay, you take the strap off, it shoots off into oblivion. You'll never find it again. And uh, yeah, having a little kit filled with a bunch of little different size spring bars, man, that will come in handy. And again, you're gonna use it all the time. Next up, probably my favorite item on the list, straps, okay? You got the spring bar tool kit, you got the spring bar kit, 
now you gotta have a strap to change out. So guys, uh, I have three recommendations when it comes to straps. First one, sailcloth. Now I use Barton sailcloth straps, not exclusively, they're just the ones that I use right now and they seem to be holding up the best. No fraying, uh, the threading is nice and taut and clean and they have captive spring bars so you don't even have to mess around with the spring bar shooting off into oblivion. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say spring bar, uh, or excuse me, I'm gonna say Barton sailcloth. <laughs> I don't know why I said spring bar. Um, next up, Hadley Roma Ostrich Leather. Guys, ostrich leather, you either love it or you hate it. I absolutely love it because it's nice, supple, has some texturing, looks kind of exotic and fancy. So for a dress watch, you wanna brighten it up a little bit maybe. Um, yeah, Hadley Roma Ostrich Leather. Now they have different tones of ostrich leather. They have some darker um, ostrich leather and they have some brighter ones. So uh, sure, there's a spectrum and you can choose. Uh, I'll show you some footage of my uh, Starbo 6 five cocktail time on its ostrich leather strap. Uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And that's on a Hadley Roma ostrich leather. And finally, the watch I'm wearing right now is fitted with a rally strap, guys. I'm obsessed with rally straps. Uh, I really like chronographs and a proper rally strap makes it feel kind of like a racing chronograph. Again, these were invented so that race car drivers, uh, their wrists could breathe while wearing a chronograph. Um, so these perforated straps, they help out a lot. And this one is a man cave leather strap. Such high quality, absolutely worth every, every penny. I did a little unboxing video up here so you can watch that. And uh, yeah, so sailcloth. Again, I use Barton ostrich leather. Again, um, I have a Hadley Roma one and uh, man cave leather uh, for your rally straps. Those are my three picks. Next up, a caliper tool. Guys, uh, this might be kind of out there, but let me tell you, when you start collecting watches and you really want to know the dimensions, you got to measure them yourself, okay? You can't trust uh, what the spec sheet says because sometimes they're just straight up not accurate. So having a caliper tool, uh, you can find them on Amazon. The one I use was like $9.99, very, very affordable. And again, you use it all the time, especially if you're reviewing watches. Wow, who'd have thunk it? I actually measure the watches I talk about. Uh, so yeah, caliper tool, you can measure the lug width. So if you're looking for the correct strap or maybe a bracelet to put on a watch, you can go ahead and measure those lugs. You can measure the diameter, you can measure the thickness. Um, you're gonna find yourself using it all the time. So a simple caliper tool goes a long way. All right, the next thing that I think is really great stocking stuff or something to keep in your watch toolkit, poly watch ointment. Okay, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, you can just use toothpaste, you can use sandpaper. Uh, I don't recommend either of those things. Use poly watch ointment, it's worth the money. I've made an episode using it uh, on my Speedmaster's Hesalite Crystal. It buffs out all the scratches. Um, it works wonders. So guys, there's even a before and after in that episode I pointed up here, so you can click that link. But yeah, um, it works on acrylic, it works on Plexi, I believe, and it works on Hesalite. Um, I don't think it works on, on Sapphire because Sapphire is too hard. Um, but yeah, poly watch ointment, thumbs up. And to go along with that poly watch, a simple microfiber. Guys, a simple clean microfiber cloth, something that you would use on your eyeglasses. Um, you can use on your watch's crystal. Again, you can use it in conjunction with that poly watch ointment, or you know, maybe you're just dusting off the watch and its bracelet. Uh, yeah, throw a microfiber cloth in that stocking you'll be happy. Next up, a watch roll. Now guys, you've heard me say it multiple times. I don't really believe in paying a whole lot of money for these really expensive watch rolls, but there are some I really like. Barton makes a watch roll. I also have a watch roll from Boulder, um, but you can use them kind of, you can flatten them out and use them as a little mat, like a work area, especially again, if you're taking pictures or you're changing straps out. Um, so I don't really use my watch rolls to transport my watches, I kind of use them as a simple kind of workspace, a little work mat. So when I'm inspecting my watches, uh, when I'm working on them, changing out a strap, or even, you know, when I'm taking some pictures, having a nice leather watch roll, it's kind of a nice, simple, tidy workspace. But when I do travel with my watches, I recommend a watch pod or, um, I don't think I have one here, uh, I think it's in my place, um, a wolf watch carrier, okay? I made an episode, uh, one of my best friends got me a two watch wolf hard case. And uh, yeah, guys, again, watch rolls, kind of flimsy and yeah, they protect from scratches, but if you drop your baggage or you know your case takes a nice knock, you're gonna want something a little bit hefty, something that's going to protect the case 
or protect the watches properly. So I recommend the two watch wolf travel case, excuse me, or watch pods. And that'll help you going from point A to point B with your watches and I'll keep them safe. Next up, now this thing probably will not fit in a stocking, uh, a man and his watch. I keep it here in my backdrop. One of my favorite watch books ever. Um, you know, really nice pictures, beautiful watches and very orologically significant watches and little stories about them. So it's not super technical, it's not very spec heavy, but if you like looking at pictures of watches and you wanna learn about some really prolific watches and the people who wore them and why they're so famous and so well known in the watch community, uh, that book, so cool. My brother-in-law actually got it for me about uh, a couple years ago. Um, and yeah, love that book. And finally, wrapping up my list of stocking stuffers for the Watch Enthusiast 2019 edition. This is cheating a little bit. G-Shock DW5600. Now guys, I know you guys are like, oh, he recommended a watch even though he wasn't supposed to. Listen, okay, listen. The G-Shock DW5600, I'm kind of mumbling that, my bad. DW5600. I don't want to say it's disposable, but when you can find it often for like under 40 bucks sometimes, it's kind of a no brainer, right? Like if you give a watch enthusiast a G-Shock DW5600, they're not going to not like it. They're going to wear it. And it's just such a cool watch that I wear all the time. And again, because it's so dang affordable, I don't have really any qualms beating it up and using it the way a G-Shock is supposed to be used. So um, yeah, I recommend the DW5600. I, I use the E1V and uh, yeah, it's just such a cool affordable watch. The average price online is like 40 bucks. I found mine for like 38 bucks at the time, uh, but they float around, you know, uh, 35 to 45 bucks, we'll say. And yeah, just kind of a no brainer. Throw that in a stocking and I guarantee your watch collector uh, family member will be so happy. And there you have it, guys. We went over a few really cool stocking stuffers. I don't know about you, but if I found these in my stockings, I'd be very, very happy, especially for someone that plays with watches for a living. Uh, yeah, you know, a spring bar tool kit, a spring bar kit, a bunch of straps, a caliber poly watch, all these things. Um, man, it would help me out a ton as a watch collector, so I'm sure it will help the watch collector in your life out as well. Uh, again, links to everything in the description below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this list. If you did have fun with this episode, maybe you didn't even have fun, but you still want to support the channel because you're... I don't know, freaky like that? Go ahead, click the subscribe button. There's a whole bunch of ways to support the channel, but the easiest one is to subscribe and watch the videos. Go ahead, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, you can check out my Amazon store if you wanna find a bunch of other really cool stocking stuffers. Um, that'll be in the description below. Also, um, there may be some things going on at the Time Teller shop for the holidays. I don't know, are we, do, are we doing a Black Friday thing? Maybe. Go ahead, guys. Click the link in the description below, www.thetimetellershop.com. You do not want to miss out what's going on there for this holiday season. Um, maybe the biggest sale of the year. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is you're not going to want to miss out. So click that link. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you celebrate. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Uh, again. Thanksgiving hasn't even happened, but everybody's pressuring me to make a holiday episode, so I gotta eat a lot of turkey, get a little fat, have some fun with your family, don't take things too seriously, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Real quick, if you enjoyed this episode, then do not worry, the fun doesn't need to stop here. Check out these recommended episodes that are gonna be popping up on the screen anytime now. Also, take a moment, check out my brand new channel, the Time Away channel. It's where I talk about everything outside of the watch world, some of my other collections, some of my other hobbies. And if you're not interested in any of that, don't worry, just stay right here and I will see you right here. Because I, I never leave. I am trapped inside of this camera. I don't know why that was in my head. I don't know if we can use that because we're gonna get demonetized. Copyright strike.